travel and tourism industry is the lifeblood of the South African economy. The Enter 23 e-tourism convention seeks to place the industry leaders under one roof to decide the future of the industry as well as adding technological advancements to the benefit of it. It always is kept shut. And then the program is on your tag if you don't have the program. These international events are so important because first and foremost they provide an opportunity for business uh, for our SMEs and also they boost the tourism in terms of traveling and accommodation and hospitality. Uh, as you know, uh, once you have got delegates from all over the world, uh, they are able to first and foremost book accommodation, uh, they are able to spend a lot of money in the country, and more importantly, they are able to then share, uh, we're able as a country to share our own experiences, our own tourism products, we're able to sell the products that we have as a country. Well, over the past many years, we've been talking about the adoption of new technology into the travel space as a way of gaining competitive advantage as a country. So that's number one. It's very critical that as a country we adopt whatever the new technologies that are out there that are tourism related, that are going to enhance the service delivery and the product offering as well as the experience offering. We have to adopt those. And we have been encouraging our members to look at the trends in terms of what's going on around the world. What are the new technologies that other hotels are using? Data changes everything. It's a completely new paradigm on how we operate tourism as a field, as an industry, as a research topic. So it's a, such a rapidly developing field that to stay on top of everything requires a lot of time and effort. But the good thing is that all these new digital platforms that are coming allow even SMEs to op operate on data and make rational decisions based on this data. For example, uh, e-commerce systems, website data, customer relationship management data, point of sales data. Businesses already have a lot of that data, but they don't know how to use it. So the, 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 I think that's the first point, that if you have the mindset and the skills, that's a fantastic starting point for any business. But you have to be obtained ob 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 them, ob them from somewhere. One of the key uh, focus areas for the GTA is to ensure that we give a lot of SMEs market platform, market access platforms, so that they begin to trade in areas that they've never traded before. So this is how we're driving tourism recovery uh, in an inclusive way. So I think for me, a conference like this is important for us as a GMO, a destination management and marketing organization, to be present here, interact with researchers, interact with subject meta experts, um, to just exchange knowledge on how can we build our SME communities for them to move into the mainstream economy. We anticipate that out of this conference we're probably going to have something in the region of about 10 million rands of economic impact that comes from the participants here, all the, all the businesses that are actually participating in this as service providers, as, um, as, as, as you know, beneficiaries of even our own funding that we have put in, 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 into such an event. A, a conference like this uh, assists us in a sense that we will start looking at digital platforms that we need to create to ensure that we make travel accessible to you know people around South Africa, particularly them, you know, attracting them into uh, you know Gauteng, uh, you know, as a province. <laughs>